So I'm sure you guys all know about this coronavirus. It's been going around in China for about a month now. And if we're gonna be honest here, it's getting kind of worrisome. I mean, this is going around in multiple countries, multiple continents around the world. It's getting kind of serious here. And in a minute here, we're gonna actually take a look at somebody basically vlogging the streets of Wuhan so you guys can get some kind of idea of what this looks like actually, because the, the whole city is basically just deserted. The streets are empty. There's two or three cars. The streets of Wuhan literally just looks like a ghost town, like some kind of zombie apocalypse came and just wiped out the entire city. It's ridiculous. Now here's some statistics from NBC about this whole thing. So two or three days ago now, the US declared a public health emergency. And that's really not too much to be worried about because that was mainly for like weaker countries that can't really handle an outbreak of this virus. So if you're living in like the US or, in, or any kind of big country, you're really good on that. But here it also says the eighth case of this virus was confirmed in the US. The first one was in Massachusetts. I know there's one in like Texas, Chicago, California even. So this thing's pretty spread out actually. We also see here the confirmed cases in China have went to almost 12,000 with about 250 deaths. Which I mean isn't horrible, it could be worse. So even if you do somehow get this virus, you do have a pretty good chance of living. My guess is unless you're super young or pretty old, you're probably good on it honestly. But at the same time, I'm not a doctor so don't exactly take my word on that one. Anyway, now we're gonna take a look at somebody actually vlogging the streets of Wuhan and they're gonna show all the protective gear they have to wear. This dude's wearing two masks. He's wearing like swimming goggles. He has a scarf on and like multiple jackets. It's crazy. And you're also going to see how deserted this town actually is. Because like I said earlier, it's like a ghost town. There's basically not a soul there. One mask. Another mask. Can't forget the most important thing. And the silliest thing. Got my gloves. I'll wash these when I get home. Just to be safe from all the stuff I'll touch on my way. Another beautiful day in quarantine, Wuhan. This is a city with a population bigger than London. This is usually a very busy street. All these shops would be open. Lots of noise. Surrounded by apartments. And yet, there's no one on the street. I've never seen this road without cars. It's traffic. Now there's also a lot of theories going around that the Chinese government is actually lying about how many cases there are and how many deaths there actually are. Because there's actually researchers that are saying that there might be almost 100,000 cases of the coronavirus when we're being told that there's less than 15,000. So that's a pretty massive difference. I'm not sure what reason they would have to be lying about the numbers, maybe to keep panic down, but there is theories that this virus is way worse than what we're being told. So really for now, make sure you're just on top of this whole thing, keep up with the news and what's happening, read these articles and stuff make sure you know what's going on because it is growing rapidly unfortunately so just make sure you know stuff like how many cases are in your area and what you need to do the protective measures you can take stuff like that but at the same time every single person who has caught this virus so far has some connection to Wuhan China either one of their family members went there or they recently went there so don't think you know just because you like coughed a couple times that you have coronavirus when you haven't left your city in five years it is flu season so keep that in mind also if you cough three times you don't have coronavirus and you don't have 24 hours to live. So if you haven't traveled to Wuhan, China recently, there's not much to worry about. There's no reason to panic or anything. Even if it does get worse, there's, why panic before it happens, you know? Anyway, that's where I think I'm going to wrap up this video. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe if you're brand new to the channel. You can follow me on Twitter at Subdurelex. And other than that, I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'm out.